Alright, hello, I'm live. Um, so, alright, so, uh, if I get around to posting this instead of being a big baby and keeping it to myself, I should tell you, hi, my name is CrashCat, um, my handle is CrashCat, I apologize in advance for sounding like a big whiny baby. Um, but, uh, you know, I just feel like I want to demonstrate this goofy games sort of less used feature. Oh. So normally when you play a tactical game, uh, you want to plan everything out carefully. You want to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. You want total control over your characters. Um, generally speaking, you don't want computer doing anything for you because computer tends to be dumb. Well, Final Fantasy Tactics uh, did away with that. Um, to some extent, you can actually tell the computer to play the game for you. Um, so that's how, what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to go through the game with auto battle. Um, I've never actually gone through the entire game with auto battle, so some of it will be new to me. I don't claim to be any sort of expert, but, uh, should have fun with it. Um, I know some of the pitfalls, so we'll, I'll have some advantage. On the other hand, I'm also going to be somewhat stupid and rather than go through the trouble of editing and all that because I'm really not that good to begin with. I'm just gonna stream this and if you don't like what's happening in a video you can skip around a stream and you know. So you just relax and enjoy if you want to. If you want to watch it that's great. If you don't that's great. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I've talked too long, so, um, I went ahead and skipped the tutorial because, well, I didn't skip it, I just decided to start here because all you can really do in the tutorial is control one guy, so there's really no challenge to it whatsoever. But this first, uh, this first, uh, map actually has some challenge. It turns out, uh, since I did just a few uh, practices with this to, to uh, see if I could get things running, um, I want Ramza in this square because it'll get him closest to where the enemy is. And since he's the only guy I got on my team who has, like, you know, anything in the way of hit points, I want to let him have first dibs on running off into battle and getting himself crushed because he's got enough points to take maybe one more hit depending on how hard the hit is. Alright, so what are my other choices? Obviously I could take a total of four more guys. Um, I'm gonna look at these chemists because last time I tried this uh, they didn't actually use any items and of course there's not much point in bringing a chemist in here if they're not gonna do anything with it uh, I didn't do it how do I bring up the actual the actual list no not that oh, I thought there was a command to bring up the well, maybe you can't do that here. See, you can't before this first battle. You can't really, uh, you can't really change your guys. And I can't even go into the item screen here to tell if she can actually cast potion, like if she can actually throw potions. And last time I used a chemist in this first battle, they they didn't. Like computers didn't use potions, so I don't know if they even have it. So, uh, I'm just going to leave Chemist out of this first battle. 
And so we'll go with all the squires. I think we got four squires. We'll put him up front because he's got 70. He's got 73. I'm just looking at Brave. Oh, she's got 74. And this squire's got 46, which is pretty terrible Brave. But of course, none of them really have a reaction command yet, so it's kind of unimportant. In fact, maybe I'll just go ahead and make them all in the same line. And we'll try it that way. Alright. So. The good news is this first map is not too hard, so doing it even with the auto battle is not terribly difficult. Um, you probably will get one guy killed, but it doesn't really matter because as long as you can kill all the enemies before uh, anyone ticks off, then you won't you won't lose anyone. Of course, if someone does tick down to nothing, then you lose them, which really kind of sucks. So Delete is going to run up there, and in his typical guest fashion, is going to just stand up there and defend and take a hit because he's got nothing better to do with his life. And a bunch of squares are going to move around because they're starting the battle pretty far away, which is nice for us. It gives us a little chance to move in. And when I actually get a turn, we'll go over the commands. Okay, so... Um, of course, to make this easier on myself, uh, I'm not going to auto-battle her first. I'm going to pick the anyone who doesn't have their turn up, because as soon as you set auto-battle and let them go, they'll, they'll start doing stuff. I'll briefly go over these uh, options. There's, there's not a lot to point out here. Um, fight for life um, is really not really fight for life it's more like fight for death you pick an enemy and they all go after it it can sometimes be useful if like there's only one enemy you gotta kill there's you know find well actually you've already seen a mission like that um, obviously if it's gonna get them killed because they're not uh, being careful about how they advance it might not be a good idea but sometimes in those plot plot uh, maps it can be nice especially if you've got someone who got a lot of range and a lot of damage uh protect allies is supposed to be the reverse of that you set it uh on one of your units to protect them um it doesn't really work foolproof it does some weird stuff sometimes especially with uh calculators and the like in any sort of weird class it might do something strange so uh, better to avoid it um, these two are probably the most useful. Well, actually, run like a rabbit is not terribly useful, but you could use it uh, if you got someone you don't want to do anything um, for some reason. <laughs> but you still need to have them in the battle. Uh, run like a rabbit, you tell them that, and they run away. That's really what they do. They just run away. Um, it's still like the the computer does when it runs away. Well, obviously it is the computer, so it's going to act like the computer. Um, so if you manage to corner it, it'll start doing stuff, or if it gets in range. But uh, for the most part, it'll just try to stay away from everybody. Uh, and save fading life is what people consider like the default behavior. Um, the 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 name sounds like it puts some priority on healing, but that's not really true because <coughs> healing is probably like second priority after getting something killed. Computer loves any sort of attack that kills someone that turn, so they'll do that almost to the exception of everything else, even if it's going to put them in a retarded spot. So, <laughs> it's just something you've got to uh, learn to deal with when you're letting computer play for you. 
So you notice I didn't take any chemists. Um, the first couple times I tried this, they didn't do anything anyway, so it was much point. <coughs> and the computers being fairly smart and gathering all my guys generally in the same side of the map anyway, which is not really the behavior I'm used to. Oftentimes they'll split into like two clumps. But here they're being pretty smart. Because they don't have much to pick from, so there's not much to split them apart. They they all started really close, and there was only one enemy group that really got within range quickly. Which is part of what Delita just beat up. So that guy... He got hit, he's gonna run away. Which means I can hit his delicious chemist. If he's stupid enough to move forward. Oh, he ran away. Bitch. He's gonna he's gonna heal. Of course, just because I don't have a chemist doesn't mean that he won't use his. And Ram is gonna do a stupid thing and run over here and beat on this one. And fail miserably. Boyce. What's Boyce gonna do? I'm gonna attack him in the back. With a stone. Doesn't do much. Still irritating. Alright, go on. Get attacked. I got like four guys over there. You'll notice that the uh, computer will always, which has been mentioned before, but the computer will always move and sometimes that means it'll give up a good spot. Other times it means that it'll uh, just run into danger because it was in a safe spot and it decides that it has to move every turn. Hey, level up. Good for you. Uh, I did rearrange my uh, guys from last time I tried this and they're not playing out exactly the same way. I don't know how much of it's random, but obviously my guest here is stealing most of the glory. But that's fine. I think this first this first uh, screen, you pretty much gotta just suck it up and try to stay alive anyway, because you can't really customize anyone. Can't even reliably use potion. Not to say that the computer is terribly smart about using potion, partly because partly because it doesn't heal enough. Um, you know. It's, it's got very specific... Oh, great. Kill Ramza. Thanks. It's got very specific ideas of, you know, what percentage it wants to consider an emergency enough to heal someone. And... When a potion only does 30, it's not helping all that much anyway. So, they killed Ramza... Obviously, if Ramza dies, it's game over, so we've got to hope my guys can finish this in three ticks. Unfortunately, they've still got three guys up, so that's not looking good. I mean, I'm having to do it over again. <sighs> Which is embarrassing, but, you know, that's one thing you're going to find with auto battle is... Sometimes you're just not going to set it up right, or the circumstances just aren't going to work out well for you. Wendy, stop being a useless jerk. It's like, don't you know we got a guy who's dead, we gotta finish this. Oh, goody, the enemy leveled up. Wonderful. Rams has got two on him. <laughs> Good thing he's not very fast yet, huh? Is it just the chemist that's left? 
Well, then I have some hope. Of course, the problem is, Chemist is not much of a threat, so... Yeah. Here's the computer being dumb. See, uh, part of what makes the computer decide what to do is based on how much a threat the enemy is. Right now, there's just a chemist. Um, he can only hit for two because he's got no knife, apparently. Uh, so, my team doesn't really care about him, even though, obviously, if I don't do anything soon, Rams is going to crystallize and it's going to be a game over. And there goes Ted. So probably what's going to happen is my guys are going to stand here. And you're going to see why auto battle can be dumb. If they don't have anything to do, if they don't have anything that seems to be a threat, they'll just sit in a corner and uh, do nothing. Unless they've got like uh, buffing spells and they might do that. So yeah, that's that's right there how you can... Lose at auto battle. <laughs> well, it's a good, it's a good demonstration anyway. I mean, you see how uh, the computer uh, it 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 demonstrated one of the behavior, which is that the computer, if it doesn't feel that uh, it's worth killing something, one one enemy who can't do a lot of damage, it's not going to go after them. Now I could have interrupted there and uh, done a little uh, sort of intervention to uh, make them hunt, hunt the guy down, but it's not exactly fair play, so I didn't bother with it. I mean, if I'm going to auto-battle this, I really should let them do whatever they want, right? So, let's try a different order. Eh. Let's put Ramza in the back, just in case he's being stupid again. Um, I really wish I knew if she had potion. I mean, I can't imagine that they don't start her with potion. Because the chemist is pretty worthless without it. I really want to give her the job points because she has the faith, so she'd be a better spellcaster. Eh, I'll try it, and then we'll put in our 74 and our 73. And what the hell we'll put him into. Let's hope for a better result this time, eh? <sighs> yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. But, you know... That's part of playing with auto battle is you have to learn learn how the computer works <laughs> and learn how it's stupid. You <sighs> cursed. Lead is still gonna run up there and defend because eh, I don't know if it does decides that like before or if he always does that or did that based on the date I picked uh, who knows there's a lot of hidden mechanics in this game and I'm sure you'll be sick to death of them in the thread at some point so we're just going to focus on a uh, computer being dumb <laughs> and you can have fun with it. You'll notice that uh, uh, no matter who I put in this spot, they get the first turn. I guess there's some uh, position-based amount of CT when you uh, start a map because I mean clearly I put her in this spot before and she got the first turn and I mean I don't think they have any different speed at this point
Oh, hey, now I can look at this stuff. Well, he hasn't got potion. So, like, uh... Where's the speed? Yeah, everybody is a straight six on speed. Um... Let's look at our chemist here. That's not... No, she does have potion. Why did not she use it? You jerk. Cold, unfeeling bastard. Well, maybe she'll use it this time. You, you can't tell with the computer. Sometimes they don't use it because they don't get a chance. I don't think you start with any Phoenix down. I could be wrong. Does she even have that ability? I know, I was just there. You're probably yelling at the screen. Why didn't you? Oh, I didn't scroll down far enough. No, she can't. So she couldn't, she couldn't revive anyone anyway, so... If she's not lucky enough to get to them before they die, it's just tough. Alright, let's see where we get. Alright, so the person in that slot runs up and stabs that guy again. Big surprise. Well, it's more of a slash than a stab, but you know what I'm saying. And this time my guys don't get drawn over there. Probably have a Oh, shut up, Delita! Yeah, it's real cute the first time, you know, after a while it gets kind of irritating. I zoom the... I zoom the frame in really tight. Uh, the game does kind of have more space than that uh, to account for it being on a TV where you might have overscan and a lot of your quarters around it and whatnot, but I figured since you're not watching this on a TV, I would just cut that crap off and cares about a little bit of extra screen. Besides, if you want to see everything, get the game. It's fun. Yay, my guy leveled up for months. Yeah, sure. Stand in the water. I think Rams can even throw stones yet, can he? Probably not. Damn it, don't go over there! This is the second time he's done that. I started him in a different position this time. Rams, you're a jerk. If he's crystallized again. Ugh. Sure, stab the chemist. Well, maybe the chemist will actually heal herself this time then. I suppose she's capable of at least that. And actually, last time I did. One of the times I did this, uh, she just went and took it and died anyway. <sighs> yeah, potion. Thanks. I'd love to do that! <laughs> 18 health. Dude, you hit him for 9. You've only got 18. He's got full 52 health on him. You probably should... Oh, great! She can heal herself. Fabulous. I'm so happy she can heal herself. I probably should turn the stupid game sound off after a while. I know it's going to get annoying. I can't imagine him sick of it you'd be if you actually sat and watched it through your grinding because you're probably going to do more grinding with auto battle just because you can't be precise I mean there's a lot of tricks for grinding uh, for getting job points just goofing off and sometimes the computer will just kind of randomly do some job point grinding by itself because it feels that there's no threat like you saw when I just lost but you know you can't count on that you certainly can't necessarily arrange for it especially since the best way to do it involves just making your enemy completely disabled and worthless which you can't reliably do uh, when you don't have control over your own guys. You can certainly control 
what they have to choose from, but that's that's your limit. There is a guy, floating head. Well, now she's healed twice. Oh, don't heal Delia. He doesn't even die. Whatever. Well, he does do some damage. I guess it's fair. Still, man. All right, kill that guy. Thank you. Thank you for killing. McPherson, what's he gonna do? He's gonna... Oh, kill the guy in the water. Well, that was my guy in the water. See, I always get confused with the stupid hats. Uh, whatever. Come on, Delita, do something useful. Uh, like, fail to throw a stone. He missed with a stone across a little culvert. Okay, it might be more than that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, this is why people do LPs and they cut shit out, because... <laughs> You can really lose. <laughs> oh, man. Please do something smart. Yes, kill her. Well, not quite killed, but... I'll take it! Ow! Bitch. My guy in the ditch is gonna crystallize any. Oh well, at least Ramza made the girl pay for her transgressions. Man, Delita can hit hard. I guess I should be happy that my chemist healed him. Don't run away! Alright, potion him. That's the other thing, if the computer's like afraid of somebody, sometimes it just won't be in range to heal anyone. See, you've got to try not to make them too weak so that they're not constantly running away because they have low health. If they're any sort of support character, you want to you wanna keep them at arm's length, but you don't want them to not be useful. And of course, chemists are kind of dumb as far as the early going because they've only got the knife so they pretty much if they have got nothing better to do they'll just run up to somebody and stab them which is a good way to get yourself killed if there's a bunch of enemies around Ooh, they're, they're gonna actually finish them off who's left oh that one guy in the back wait no Yeah, the one guy in the back. Well, Doris got to level up, I guess. I got my wish. Uh, what cost? Is it just that dude? Oh shit, my guy's got zero. I'm gonna lose him, aren't I? Well, maybe he wasn't meant to be. Maybe I don't need him. I mean, you only need five guys for a field for a party anyway, so. Yeah, throw a stone. Run away. Eh, whatever, Daniel. You weren't any good. It's one way to weed out the jerks. Um, did he even have any ability? Uh, don't you already know those? I think he knows those. Have some healing then. Oh, damn, didn't do anything. Crap! So that's one other thing I don't like about that menu. You can never check to see how much health you actually have. But part of... Part of auto battle is making deal with what you have, so... <laughs> I guess I'm gonna learn real quick. I'll get that out of the way. Hey, I got a broadsword. Good for me. 
Oh, do I have to push the button for that one? Yeah, when you pick up an item, you gotta push the button. There's some things that it won't do, you know. Your own guy dying? Uh, doesn't care. To getting a broadsword? We gotta stop you for that. not gone the best, but on the other hand, I don't really need a full team of guys anyway, so I might just suck it up. I always have a hard time deciding which ones to go with anyway. Why do you continue committing acts like robbery? You wouldn't have died this way. Neither would mine. Oops. Congratulations, here's some money and some money and a knife and a phoenix down that you haven't learned how to use yet. Congratulations. Alright, when you move, nobody cares. All right, so let's take a look at what uh, party we have remaining, because, yeah, we got some of it killed. Of course, we still only need five dudes, and we still got one extra dude. So i got to decide who's going to go. It's probably going to be Wendy, because, well, I do like to keep it even. Oh, but we got Jolene. It might have to be Woody. He's got, like, no faith. Oh, the Wendy with the 46 Brave. That is harsh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to ditch her. Well, give me your stuff first, at least. Oh, push the right button. You see, they switched the buttons in the PSP one, so I... Yeah, I forget. I forget things. Can't I go with you? No. Screw you. Alright. So now we got one, two, three, four, five. Good for us. <sighs> oh, he has battle boots to start with, which is nice. Why would that be better? You're stupid. Oh, pushing the wrong buttons. Stop pushing the wrong buttons. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't want you to have a weapon if you're going to be the chemist. Because it's stupid. Yeah, if the chemists have anything worthwhile as a weapon, they might haul off and try to kill someone. It's just not a good idea. In fact, um... You're getting your battle boots revoked because... I want one of the chemists to be able to get to healing more people. Because I'm gonna need that. And we'll give it to my favorite chemist at the moment, because... Because I said so! Alright, so what kind of crap have we got? Oh look, you can already learn yell! Hooray! Learn yell! That's what you're going to be doing, like always, because yell is the best. Of 
for sort of priming that he levels up too fast, but I don't care. We need all the speed we can get. We need all the stuff to do when there's nothing else to do that we can get. I uh, can't afford anything else in that job. Um, doesn't have enough for potion and a phoenix down. I could give him one charge. It's kind of poor. Equip armor, huh? I guess. I don't usually bother with it, but man, anything you do get more health points is probably better. Um, I need health. I really just need health, so... Potion! And set it. Alright, so he's going to get the ability to potion in a pinch. Uh, not this guy. Uh, I probably should have someone who can heal. Because the stupid cats will show up. Problem with throw stone. It doesn't do much damage and they love to use it if they're not in range or something else. I'm really reluctant to give anyone throw stone. The computer is just obsessed with using throw stone. And sometimes when they have a bow they'll still use throw stone because it does the amount of damage they want to do, which is fairly retarded. I'll just say it, fairly retarded. Okay, um Oh, he can potion and antidote. And, but I want to show someone charging because I feel like it's so. Yeah. Chemist needs chemist stuff. You don't have enough job points for Phoenix down. You are the worst chemist. He have ch well, of course, he wasn't in that fight, so of course he doesn't know how to do anything. Sucks to be you! Can I give him anything? Yeah, take that. I don't know if he can even do anything with it, but take it. Alright, Jolene! She's really close to getting accumulate. Oh, I gotta get JP up too! Ah, crap! So that's why I should have spent on Yell. Eh! He'll, he'll, he'll do a lot with Yell, though, so I don't feel too bad. We'll just give her gain JP up. See, I make dumb noob mistakes because I'm dumb like that. Uh, she can potion. She can... She can potion. Fine. Potion. Gonna have to buy a lot of potions. Yeah, she did a lot that. She did a lot that battle. How did she not get Jack for job points? That's depressing. I mean, she threw like three or four potions. She's only got like five to begin with or something. I don't, whatever. And Delita, well, I'm not even gonna be using you for a while. Yeah, I'll put that. Up. Well, no, actually, he will be in there at first. <sighs> Fart. I just want him to hit for me. I don't even care. Hit things. Good enough. Um, oh, I wanted to check on my items. Uh, I've got three Phoenix Downs. Of course, nobody knows how to use them. 
Got all these fancy things you start out with. I don't know why, because you can't use them. I don't even know where you can obtain these things. I mean, they come in later. Uh, do I really need the money right now? Probably not. Well, let's see what there is for shopping before I just dismiss it like that. so much to pick from here. Uh, well, such is life. Then we will buy potions, because we're going to need potions. Do we have two of them? Yeah, so you start with five. She used three of them. <sighs> yes. Potion me up. I can't even use Phoenix Downs yet, what's the point? Let's get a few of each of these, cause... You never know, you might get poisoned or darknessed and your heal guy might be just... off having a smoke somewhere. Cause... oh, that's a nice effect there in the background. I hope that doesn't keep up. Oh, lovely! Hey, emulation, you're screwing up! Oh well, whatever. If I wanted to be good, I would, you know, use an actual capture card and an actual PlayStation. But, you know. Oh, heck. I'll come back after this dumb cutscene is over with. You've already seen it anyway.